In many cases, we're going to have a relation but wish that it had a particular property. In some cases, we can create a new relation from the old that has the desired property called its closure. The closure of a relation is the smallest relation with a particular property that contains the original. For example, let x be the set a, b, c, d, and r be the relation that relates a and c to each other, c to b, d to a, and d to itself. We're going to close r under the property of reflexiveness. In order for r to be reflexive, it's going to have to contain every pair of the form x, x, such as a, a, b, b, and c, c. These pairs are elements of what is called the diagonal relation delta. D, D is here too, but it's less interesting because we already have it. So the closure of R under reflexiveness is the relation that contains all the original data of R, as well as the necessary pairs for reflexiveness. Notice that the reflexive closure is R union delta. Next, we're going to take the same relation and close it under symmetry. This time, we're going to need the inverses of every pair in the relation. This inverse relation consists of the pairs CA and AC, which notice we're already in our original relation, but we also get the pairs BC, AD, and DD. The symmetric closure is the relation R union its own inverse, which consists of the pairs AC, CA, BC, CB, DA, AD, and DD.